Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to create artificial camera shake in Blender. No add-ons, only native Blender features. What you're seeing in this clip is completely procedurally generated camera shake. Footage taken from my foreign reality short, which you should definitely check out. As you can see, this method produces rather convincing results and can work really good if it's done well. Now that we have Blender open, first thing we're going to want to do is add keyframes for all of our camera rotation. So first of all, we're going to uh, select our camera, then we're going to open the side panel. We're going to insert keyframe, and then we're going to go into our camera like this. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is open up a new tab. We're going to uh, make it into the graph editor tab. Now something cool you might not know about the graph editor is that you can actually add modifiers to your keyframes. So first of all, I'm going to select the x-axis, then I'm going to press N to open the side panel and click on the modifiers tab. The modifier we're looking for is the noise modifier, so I'm going to add that. So essentially what the noise modifier does is it adds variation to your initial keyframe. As you can see, if I can press play, the camera moves around like crazy. How we're going to fix this is we're going to turn up the scale value. This will stretch out our noise so the movement is less rough and it's more gradual. Setting it to around 20 or 25 makes the camera move a lot smoother. Okay, now the camera movement is smooth, but it's moving way too much. It's like the camera's floating on a massive wave in the ocean. So we can change that, we can just edit the strength value and make the movement a bit more subtle. Another thing we should change is the depth value. This will add detail to our noise and make the noise a lot less robotic and a bit more organic in its movement. As you can see, it's a lot more jittery and it's just like real camera motion. Now that we have our noise modifier on one axis of rotation, we can copy it to all the axes. Easiest way to do this is to click on the copy F modifiers right here, navigate to our other axes and paste it in using the button next to the copy button. Wait, there's another issue. The camera is only moving in one direction, and it's not randomly in all of them, all the directions. Reason for this is that the noise is exactly the same between each axis, even though they're on different keyframes. The best way to fix this is to adjust phase value and set each axis to a different phase. This will refresh the noise and make it completely different. As good as this already looks, there's a slight issue with it. You essentially have a camera shaking on a tripod, which doesn't make any sense. You can repeat the same process on the location keyframes and make the camera move in 3D space rather than just rotation. Now as you can see, if I disable the rotational keyframes, it'll actually move in 3D space. The best thing about this method is you can do whatever you want to the camera motion and still have the camera shake applied to it. So for example, if I move some frames forward and move the camera and rotate it to create a new keyframe, it will animate the camera like normal, but the camera shake is still enabled. So I've keyframed this on frame 80, and if we animate it, you can see that our camera shake is still applied and it's moving with the camera. And you can animate this however you want. It, you can uh, make it follow a curve, you can hand animate it, and it'll still have that uh, camera shake applied to it as long as you have some keyframes at the beginning. So here's another real world example. In this clip you can see what appears to be a person walking down a hallway, which um, uses the same uh, camera shake method. Another thing you can do is that when you have, say you wanted to simulate a person holding a camera and walking forward, you can, on each step, dip the camera a bit and send it back up, just keyframe that manually. And as you can see in the video, I, my uh, camera does that. Yeah, I love this method because it doesn't require any third-party tools and can be achieved with Blender straight out of the box. It's very flexible and doesn't require too much setup to get working. So thank you for the view and I hope this helped you on your Blender journey. Happy blundering!